Have you ever pondered about the work ethic of a king, specifically King Charles, and wondered how it shapes his reign? Imagine a city that never sleeps, its night as bustling as the day. Now, picture a monarch whose dedication to duty mirrors this nocturnal vitality. King Charles, our night owl king, is known for his late-night industriousness, a testament to his unwavering commitment to his role. Camilla Tomini recently mused about his unique work habits, painting a portrait of a sovereign whose devotion extends well into the wee hours. But isn't it quite the conundrum? The very essence of King Charles's work ethic, with its nocturnal demands and relentless pursuit of diligence, contrasts sharply with the uproar that once surrounded a certain duchess's early morning communiques. So, as the city lights twinkle, so does the light in the king's study, a beacon of his ceaseless dedication. This narrative of a king's unwavering commitment unfolds under the cloak of night, a tale of complexities and contradictions of royal life, where duty knows not the bounds of day nor the quietude of night. In an era where digital communication reigns supreme, have you ever wondered how the king navigates this space? King Charles, it seems, has a predilection for the analogue, favouring the tangible sincerity of handwritten notes and the formal grace of dictated letters over the impersonal convenience of emails and text messages. Picture a world where the classic vinyl record hasn't been replaced by the streaming music service. That's the world King Charles chooses to inhabit. His approach, while charmingly old-fashioned, demands an army of dedicated staff, always on their toes, ready to facilitate this constant stream of correspondence irrespective of the time. It's a bit like a well-oiled vintage clock with its intricate gears and cogs working seamlessly to keep the hands of communication moving smoothly. In a world chasing after the new, the king remains a charming testament to the timeless appeal of the old. His is a narrative of a monarch who dares to be different, who dares to be analog in a digital world. Can you imagine what an evening in the palace in the company of King Charles might look like? Picture this, a scene as timeless as the palace walls themselves. The king, ensconced in his study surrounded by the day's correspondence, his brow furrowed in concentration, the flicker of the study lamp casting warm shadows on the stacks of papers that demand his attention. He's not unlike a scholar burning the midnight oil, his mind a whirl of information and decision. As he pours over state affairs, his diligence is palpable. The world outside might be cloaked in the calm of night, but within the palace there's a different sort of quietude, one punctuated by the diligent strokes of a fountain pen, the rustle of parchment, the soft sigh of a letter being folded. And then, there's the subtle clink of a glass, a generously mixed dry martini, the king's companion through these nightly vigils. It's a sound that breaks the silence, a testament to the fact that even in these late hours, the king is wide awake, his commitment to his duties unwavering. The palace at night is far from dormant. It's alive with the quiet hum of dedication, the rhythm of a monarch whose devotion to duty extends well into the wee hours. The night deepens, and so does the king's engagement with his duties, a testament to his unwavering commitment. Does the palace with its timeless walls echo tales of a king's relentless pursuit of duty? Picture this, the palace, a grand old book, its stone walls the parchment upon which countless stories have been written. Each day another page turns, revealing a fresh chapter in the life of King Charles. The palace is not just a silent observer, but a living, breathing entity that mirrors the king's ceaseless endeavor. Its storied corridors and hallowed halls are the veins through which his dedication flows, reaching every corner, every crevice, this, dear listeners, is where the paradox lies. It's a realm where the hours are blurred, where the sun's retreat does not signal the end of duty, but often, the beginning. The king's commitment, much like the palace itself, transcends the bounds of day and night. Imagine the palace under the cloak of darkness, a storybook unfolding in the quiet of the night. The king, the protagonist, steadfast in his role, pens his narratives with the ink of diligence, each stroke a symbol of his unwavering dedication. These narratives are not merely tales of a monarch, but reflections on the complexities and contradictions of royal life. The palace, the king, and his nocturnal pursuits, all parts of an intricate dance, a beautiful paradox. The walls of the palace indeed whisper tales of a king's unwavering commitment, a narrative that prompts reflection on the complexities and contradictions of royal life. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video. Whispers from the Royal Corridors, The Discreet Departure. Did you know that channel members can access these videos over six hours early? 
and also get an exclusive video every week. That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.